Hello and welcome to the CK Challenge Question 43. My name is Alok Kumar and today we are going to discuss a new question uh, based on the CK exam. Okay, this question have the weightage of five uh, percent because it having a little bit uh, difficulty in just searching of the pod as per the question. So question says that we have to delete a pod, the pod with the highest priority but having the level uh, uses is equal to. Uh, not useful so this question is related with the priority class the priority class associated with the pods uh, to make it a high priority pod okay so if you are not familiar with the priority class you can refer my video on the priority class the i button you can check i button there is a link available for that that coming uh, during this time okay so the label have the uses is not useful so before this pod is a priority uh, pod but um, after that the developer uh, want it to be uh, uh, deleted uh, at some point of time so the label they assign it to as a users not useful so based on the the label we have to delete a pod uh, but this is the high priority pod uh, we have uh, several pods running in the cluster uh, with a different priority so there are different types of priority class available that is associated with the running pod out of that we have to identify which pod is the highest priority pod but have the level of not useful so as per the question we have to delete a pod a single pod so a single pod have the highest priority with the level that is for the sure so there are several ways to identify uh, which uh, pod have the highest priority and which have the labels but we will see uh, some lengthy way also that uh, that is not useful for the ck exam because as per the time management we have to uh, see these things as well to have a uh, we have to solve the problem within a time okay so we don't need to uh, spend more time on the question so we will see how quickly we can um, uh, do it by searching uh, for the priority uh, pod uh, and after that we will identify that okay this is the priority pod and this is uh, the the label and we are going to delete that pod so now jumping to the lab session for the demonstration so for this demonstration we are using the eks uh, environment the aws uh, kubernetes cluster we have two nodes okay of t2 dot small and uh, eks client that have the appropriate roles to connect with the cluster is of t2 micro okay so we are connected let me check how many pods currently we have so you can see that we have seven pod currently running and we know that we have to search for the priority pod so we are going to look into how many priority class we have pc short code of priority class is pc so you can see we have six uh, priority class okay so let me describe one pod okay i am describing the first pod okay you can see the priority class is here priority 1 okay and you can see here the priority 1 is the highest priority pod so we are now concentrate on this uh, priority class okay we have to find this priority in all the available ports so we will not go one by one it will take time maybe in the exam you have 20 ports so it's not a good way to search uh, means describe on the basis of port 1, port 2, port 3 in the exams to look into the priority class. Okay, this is the priority class and here we have the label. So this pod have, don't have the label. Okay, so what is the best way? Either we are going to search uh, one by one all the pods. It will it will be very time consuming. Uh, also, we are not going to search with the priority flag only. Or we can search with the priority uh, with the value this is also not a good way uh, if you talk about uh, saving the time in the exam so what is the other way how can we uh, go to search uh, for the for the flag or labels you can say so we have a command that will apply for the labels we can use that only okay so kubectl 
get pod and we have the label and that is uses is equal to not useful okay so now we have two pods pod 4 and pod 7 so now we can apply our grep command for the priority okay so what is that uh, kubectl get pod or we can describe it so that will be ver we will verify if you if it required but this is the best way to search for pod 4 so we are looking into pod 4 and pod 7 only okay output of yaml in the yaml uh, format it will give us a result with the grep So we are going to make it uh, case insensitive, insensitive. So it will not look for the case. Priority. And then we have to pass this number of 0. Okay. So it's uh, around 7 0 after 1. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And then we have to this is the priority pass uh, priority class and we have to go below till the name of the pod so so what we are going to do we are going to see before 25 lines okay so priority class goes down and the name of the pod goes up okay so what we are going to do we, we have to check before 25 means when the this priority um, will come we have to search for the 25 lines before okay okay so we we use this command and only one pod comes into the list okay four and five and you can see the label is matched it's a pod seven and uh, all the things are matching here because this is the priority uh, class and you can see the priority class is applied for that pod so this po is the only pod that we need to delete and kubectl delete pod pod 7 okay so pod 7 is deleted kubectl get pod so we have now seventh pod is deleted which question ask me to do it okay so if you like my video you can subscribe share it with your friends if you have any comments just put in uh, your message in the comment box i will try to reply and if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe it it always motivate me thank you thank you for watching this video have a nice day